Hey, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Supreme Lotus 14 and welcome to another installment of my Pokemon Unite Deep Dive series, where we take a look at a Pokemon, talk about it in full depth, and talk about whether it is worth purchasing with your Aeos coins. So, today's Pokemon is going to be a, a Defender, a Pokemon, uh, an, a class in which I have been enjoying playing, of course. If you guys have already seen me play before, I played a lot of Mamoswine, I played some Blastoise, of course. And I've actually gotten into this Pokemon a little bit, and, you know, I play it for fun. Whenever I just want to have fun, I play it, really, honestly. So, today's Pokemon we're going to be going over is, of course, going to be Crustle. Now, Crustle is an interesting Pokemon because it is a defender that can actually do some pretty crazy stuff, honestly. Um, I feel like this Pokemon definitely is, is a really unique Pokemon, but I feel like it definitely needs a bit for it to really make it work. But, of course, to joining me for this edition of the deep dive series featuring Crustle is a is a dude that I've known quite a bit he is known as the one and only Shuckle. Top, how you doing? Yes sir, Shuckle, if you guys already know Shuckle, he's been with, he's been in the streams of course, you know, joking around, being S H basically the SMH king of course, you already know all day every day, so he's going to be joining me today for um this deep dive for Crustle because he has, he has, he has quite some experience playing this Pokemon. Um, he hasn't played it as much as he played, because I believe you, you've mentioned that you play some other stuff as well, but he has played Crustle ever since day one. Right, Shuckle, you mentioned about that? You go ahead, uh, tell me yeah. about this a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, I have played, I have, I, I played quite a lot of Crustle. I've been Crustle since day one, so, like, I pretty much know a lot about Crustle. All right, so... With that being said, of course, if you guys do enjoy these deep dives, um, don't forget to, to don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't, and of course hit the bell. And let me know in the comments below which Pokemon would you like to see featured in in a featured uh Unite Deep Dive series. So we're gonna go ahead and dig into this right now. So here we go. So Crustle, as you guys can see, is indeed a defender. Um, so as you see here, it it, it does excel at endurance, so it's able to tank hits really well. It has decent support as well too, being able to. Slow, um, hinder enemy teams down. Now, Crystal is a Pokemon that has some pretty interesting things going on in its kit. So, uh, the way I think we'll do it is we're going to talk about first is, uh, basic attack. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about its passive. Which, Chuckle, I think you're going to have to help me out with this one. Because I, I still have to learn a little bit about its passive here. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and first talk about its basic. And then we're going to go to its, uh, passive. And then go into its progression. So, First off, let's talk about his basic here. I'm going to read about this, and then Shuckle's going to talk about it a little bit in detail here. So, basically, uh, each Pokemon will always have a basic attack that has an additional effect when it becomes a boosted attack every t when you get your thir every third attack. So, when you get this boosted basic attack, it does damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and decreases their movement speed for a short time. So, this is interest This is always nice because being able to slow them down with your basic attack early game, uh, well rather not really early game, but being able to slow them down in general with your basic is always really nice, honestly. So, is there anything you want to add to this real quick, Shuckle, with the, with this basic so uh, basic attack? Um, I, yeah, you know, I have nothing to say so far, so. Okay, I kind of already went into it, I guess, huh? <laughs> Yeah, Bas pretty much. Yeah, basically this move is really good, being able to slow to slow to slow them down. Basically, it decreases the movement speed for a short time. But most of them, most Pokemon I've seen really do have access to this, which I think is really nice. So now let's go ahead and talk about this. Oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. It's basically your average like slow down move. I don't really, I'm not really that special, to be honest. So yeah, it could help. Like if an enemy try it tries to escape, you can hit it with a boosted basic. It could definitely. Really come in, come into play quite a bit, of course. If you're able to hit it, of course, that of course. Yeah. All right. Next up, we're going to talk about is this base is is passive, which is of course sturdy. Now, this is an interesting one because every time the Pokemon loses a certain amount of HP, its defense and special defense are increased. Now, you know about you know about you know about its passive, right, Shunko? Yeah, pretty much. So, how when it says a certain amount of HP, how much HP are we talking about that it loses for it to gain its passives? Mm, I think we're talking. Um, I think we're talking like like a half or below HP, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've I, I noticed that when it comes to this ability, you get you when you get hit when you take some damage, you get these, um, you get the defense and special defense increase. Now. Do these stay or do these go after a certain amount of time? It does say that it doesn't say anything about it going away, but I was just curious. I'm pretty sure they do, but I I, I could be wrong. Yeah. All right. Well, basically, how this move works is whenever this Pokemon um receives uh, a certain amount of damage, 
um, basically, you're basically get you make yourself, um, you basically, um, ba making yourself a bit more bulky and all that good stuff. And, um, you're able to tank a bit better, actually. So, I think it's pretty cool on how this works, of course. So, I just never really understood it that much because I was just messing around with, with, with Crustle before my on my end. So, that's just something that I've always noticed. I never really looked into it for the most part. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about his passive. His, I'm sorry, his progression here, excuse me. So, as you see here, Crustle is, of course, a defender which has really good endurance and able to protect allies and then hinder opponents. So, you want to have this Pokemon being able to hinder enemies and, of course, being in the front. Now, you start as a, as a little Dwebble at level 1, and then you get Crustle at level 4, so jungle is definitely not recommended for this Pokemon. You definitely want to take this Pokemon on lane, because of course it is a defender, and you want to be able to, you don't really, you only get, you basically hit 4 pretty consistently, especially if you're able to stay on your, your farm quite a bit, and if you're able to get, if you can get your 4, then you get your first move really easily, so... You know, Crystal, I don't think really struggles. Though, if you do stack, I definitely recommend you definitely play cautiously with it. I mean, I know I play this Pokemon when I try to stack, and I keep going down every time. I think the problem with me is that whenever I play this Pokemon to try to stack its attack, um, I always try to get a little too aggressive, and then I end up paying for it, honestly. So, I gotta learn how to not be too aggressive when it comes to it. But that's just something that I've been noticing with whenever I play this Pokemon. Or I feel like with any Pokemon that, you know, that I stack with, basically. So, anyways, let's go. Let's go into his moves here. So, at level one, um, you have a choice between Rock Slide and Fury Cutter. So, let's talk about these moves, and then I'll have Shuckle recommend which of the two moves you start with. Because actually, I'm not really sure myself. But let's go ahead and talk about Fury Cutter first. So, basically, Fury Cutter says it's um is a move that slashes supposedly Pokemon with claws, dealing damage to them, and then hitting the same Pokemon multiple times in succession with this move increases the damage dealt. So. I believe Shuckle, right? This this means like when they have when you hit the uh, enemy with this move, they get that little green little slash little uh let dash thing on on it. Does that mean that if you hit it again with Fury Cutter while they have it, it does more damage, or how does that work? If you know. Yep, you're right on that. Okay. All right, so I'm glad at least I got the I got I got the idea of that. So that's good. So basically, you hit them with Fury Cutter, you get them a little um, we get you get. You hit them with that little green little uh, cut on them, and then you do want to increase damage with this move. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad he's understand that. <laughs> Anyways, and then the second move you get is of course Rock Slide, which is a move that does that drops rocks on the designated area. When this move hits, it deals damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and leaves them unable to act for a short time. I like Rock Slide because it basically stops them stops them dead in their track um, for a short period of time. So, I think Rock Slide is pretty nice, honestly, for, for a starting move. What do you think, Shuckle? I honestly think Rock Slide is definitely good. It's always good to have those early game songs if you need them. Yeah. Now, when you start with... When you start... When you start do, do you always start with Rock Slide, or do you start with Fury Cutter? I honestly start with Fury Cutter. It, I, I, it honestly doesn't really matter, because... It honestly depends on your build. If you like, if you like going defensive, then probably go and I go rock slide. Then if you go, if well, if you're going like the stack build, then probably go fear cover. But uh, yeah, but, but keep in mind, by the time you get to, to your lane, you're already going to be three. You're going to have all all these. But I'm saying to clear the first a bit amount of a farm. Um, would you start with fury cutter? Or would you start with rock slide? I'm assuming fury cutter right? because it's a lesser cooldown and you can hit it more. Yeah, very much. I do. That's what I think. But I just, mm -hmm. honestly, I think Rock Slide is, is not is pretty is pretty nice as well. Being able to stun them for a short time, I think it's always really good to have that. So <laughs> now at level four, you evolve into Crustle. Now, when you evolve into Crustle at level four, you get a choice between Rock Tomb and Shell Smash. Which we're gonna go ahead and talk about Rock Tomb first, and then we're gonna go ahead and talk about Shell Smash. So Rock Tomb is an interesting move because this move uh, makes it makes a little bit of a rock to a little crater on the ground, like a barricade, and then it deals damage to opposing Pokemon in the area effect, decreases their movement speed, and then create a barricade of uh, rock. So basically, your this move makes a barricade in which um, no Pokemon can get by for a short time, which I think this is both good and bad, but it depends on how you use it. Personally, for myself, I tried to use it in this move. It, it does not really do great. Now, I understand that this move actually did get recently get a bit of a buff as well, um, which I believe it got a cooldown reduction, and I believe they also increased the effect of 
this move. I actually don't remember on the top of my head. In fact, I'm going to pull this up right now as we speak. But basically, this move is... A, I feel like this move is a bit of a double-edged sword in which you can use this to prevent an enemy from escaping if you time it correctly. At the same time, this move can also hinder your, your team as well, too. Oh, okay, so it actually, they increase the effect, the slow effect on opponents when you hit this move, basically. So, I think this move, like I said, is a double-edged sword in which you can use this to trap, to prevent enemies from getting away. If, um, if anything, they'll have to force them to go to a different direction. And then, um, but at the same time, if you use it incorrectly, you can also screw your, your you can also screw your team up with this, honestly. And I've seen it used, of course, I've seen this to the point where I've used, and... It really does. It really does hinder quite a bit, for sure. But you got to know how to utilize this perfectly, honestly. So I wouldn't say this is. A, I would say it's a double edged sword because because you can do a lot of trolling. You can do a lot of like trolling. Do you do a lot of trolling with there by the the uh by like making sure you can get out the by like trapping in the point walls like when Rotom's about going, you can like push Rotom into that goal, but like you mean like, in the goal. Uh, yeah, lucky Rotom basically depends on what you're playing on, so yeah. That's my personal thoughts about it. Yeah, and then when you use this move, the barricade gets removed. So you can remove it immediately if needed, of course. So that's something that's good. And then when you get the upgrade um, at level 11, it, it strengthens the, this move's movement speed decrease on opposing Pokemon when it hits. So, me personally, I'm not really a fan of Rock Tomb. For me, I I, I have to say Cell, Shell Smash is definitely the way. So, let's talk about Cell Smash. So, this move is basically, a, a, it converts a set percentage of defense and special defense. So, basically, it uses some of the Shuck, uh, crust, I said Shuckle, Crustle's defenses, and then increases is attack, special attack, which special attack is irrelevant because Crustle is a physical attacker, so keep that in mind. And then also increases the user's movement speed for a short time. So this move is great because this will make your attack, um, your attacks do more damage, which is really nice. And then at level 11, when you get the upgrade, it increases this move's con conversion rate, basically. So basically you use more defense and then you get um, more of your defenses for your attack. And I see that this move probably is better because this combos nicely with Crustle's passive in which you, when you take damage, you, uh, a certain amount of dam damage into your HP, you're basically getting yourself some defense increase, some defense and special defense, which you can then convert that into a attack, special attack, increase in mo movement speed. So I think that's pretty good. I think personally for me, I'm, I like Cell Smash more than Roxanne. But what do you think, Shuggle, oh, personally? I honestly personally think it depends. If you want to go with defensive build on it, then I highly suggest I highly suggest um walk 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 to. If you want to go with, like a stack build on it, then like then I highly suggest a shell smash. So. Yeah, but keep in mind when you do use rock to you have to know how to place it because placing it incorrectly would definitely screw your team up. Of course, like this move affects not only the enemy team but it can also affect your team. Like it prevents your team from moving forward if needed or. You don't want to use this move to, you know, screw your team up. Otherwise, that's going to be a big, a big, a big doo-doo, of course. So, personally, I think Shell Smash is definitely better. But, of course, you know, it's just a matter of how you utilize it. So, now let's go ahead and yeah. talk about the um, the other moves. At level 6, you have a choice between Stealth Rock and X's. So, let's talk about Stealth Rock first. So, throw as many small rocks. So, basically, you create, a, you create yourself a little bit of a, uh, a zone which has levitating rocks. And then any Pokemon that happens to walk in, that happens to be in that rock vicinity, will actually take um, slowly increasing damage over time in the area to a Pokemon with the area effect. So basically, you're setting yourself a little bit of a of a of a of a trap for an enemy, and that they walk into it, they take they take slowly increased damage as time goes on. The um, longer they stay in there, the more damage they'll they'll pretty much be taking. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty cool move. And this Stealth Rock combos with. Rock Tomb because if you can if you're able to trap them with Rock Tomb they can't get away plus fire it off with combo it with Stealth Rock to be able to set up the Rock Trap you're basically doing a lot you could definitely do a lot of damage and force them to pretty much make a move and force them to pretty much get away but at the same time while they're trying to get away you're still doing damage with the Stealth Rock honestly it's it, though it takes a lot of aiming you have to really know how to utilize the combo if you do go with it I feel like Stealth Rock and the Rock Tomb build is a, bit, is a bit more of a tricky build to use, but if you know how to master it, then this this combo can actually be pretty devastating against the opposing team. 
So, and then when you get the upgrade at level 13, it increases the duration of this move's effect and then also decreases the movement speed of opposing Pokemon for a short time with this move's hits. So, yeah. What do you think, Show? You think you agree that this, this combination of moves is something that you people will have to definitely learn how to place? Yeah, I think so, too. Because, like, you really have to know how to, like, how, like, I think it's pretty easy to know how to use it because you can, um, you just have to, like, put it in the right direction. So, yeah. Um, like, placement is key, especially if, with, 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 um, with Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb is the main thing you really have to know how to place perfectly because, like I said, one mistake with that Rock Tomb and it could really hinder your team quite a bit. And, you know, if you're able to set it perfectly and then with the Stealth Rock, of course, to trap while you're trapping them, then that's where you can really take advantage of that combination. But overall, I think it's a pretty cool combo, but it is pretty tricky to pull off, honestly. So now let's go ahead and talk about Exism, which is its other move, which basically has a use of Dash Forward cross, cr cross Claws, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon multiple times and shoving them and then leaves... Opposing Pokemon's unable to act if they hit an obstacle when shoved, which is interesting because it actually I actually didn't know that was even a thing. Now let me ask you a question, Shuckle. When it says here, leaves a Pokemon po opposing Pokemon unable to act if they hit an object when when shoved. If they hit a wall, does the if they hit like a normal wall? Let's say if you're not running the rock tomb, if you're running X Scissor and then you hit them into a wall, does that effect apply or does it has to be if you combo it with rock tomb? It. It could be anything, basically. It could be rock tomb, a wall, anything. Wait, so, so any way, so it's any gonna wall. Get, it's gonna have that effect. So any wall. So like basically, if you're a if you're able to hit them on the wall, you're actually able to stun them with that that way. Yes, rock tomb, the uh, the walls that you get in your lanes, anything, any wall. Right. So, but like, let's say if you're not running rock tomb, let's say if you're going with the X scissor. Cell smash build. Like if you go, if you if you hit them onto a wall with X's, it's done. Basically, this effect applies. Yes. There yes. You go. There you go, guys. That's insane. <laughs> and you shove them, and you and you shove them away too. So I think this move has a lot of really good uses. And then when you get your upgrade at level thirteen, it reduces this move's cooldown. So basically, you're able to get to it more quickly with this with this, which is which I think is pretty cool. I think it's really really dope with it, honestly. So I think out of these moves, I think X Scissor and um, Cell Smash are definitely the way, um, in my opinion. I think it, because you can definitely you get yourself a movement speed increase, you get yourself an attack buff, and then you're able to do a good damage with the X Scissor as well with each hit. You got you have three hits built into it, which I think is really good, and it's a bit more consistent to utilize than Stealth Rock and Rock Tomb personally. That's just me, of course, but you know if you're able to make it work, great. <laughs> Anyways, now let's go ahead and talk about this Crossless Unite move. It, it is called Rubble Rouser. Interesting name. Interest, I know. <laughs> so Rubble Rouser is an interesting move, which I didn't really understand how this move worked, but now I understand basically. Um, yet this move works any that if Pokemon are actually near you. So this move gives the user a shield for a short time, and then leaves nearby Pokemon unable to act, dealing da them damage over time. And I'm assuming that means with the rocks that you get around you as you pop your Unite. And then, if the user receives damage while this move is in effect, the move deals additional hits to nearby opposing Pokemon. So basically, if you're actually, if they're near you, um, and you use this Unite to um, give yourself the shield and have that old rocks around, you're making them unable to act for a short period of time, you deal damage to them, and then... If it gets hit while this Unite is active, you're basically, you, the move will do additional hits to nearby opposing Pokemon. So, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool for a Unite. What do you think? What do you think, though, Shuckle? It's honestly just, it's, an, it's honestly a, like a bit, like a better upgrade to like Sail Smash. It gives you the rocks, which you can like, what's like combo with X Scissor can be like really deadly. It's the mm -hmm. exact reason why I always thought Frosto was like super good against like squishy attackers like Cinderace and Greninja. So, yeah, if you're able to catch, um, yeah, that's a good point. If you're able to catch squishy Pokemon, um, trying to go in on you and they they underestimate what you can do, um, then that's when you can really pop this unite and then really punish them for it. Honestly, so I've actually had a game where we played where I even though we lost that game, I actually popped my unite where I have four of them on me 
And I was able to get to take knock all four of them out, honestly, which is so this unite is pretty interesting. I, at first, I never knew how this unite worked, but then the more I understood it, the more I, I played it, the more I understand how it actually works. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I, okay. I also got a chance. I also got applaud once with Crystal when when he, when uh, uh yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So. There you go, guys. That's pretty much the the, the, the little um crystals kit here. Um, personally, I think this poke this the Pokemon is not a bad. It's a pretty. It's not that bad of a defender. It does need a bit more love, but I still think it's not bad. Like I say, it's a Pokemon that um you know it does get outshined by other defenders on about like you know Mammal Swine, Blastoise, Slowbro. I hear Slowbro is even doing really good right now, but. Um, Crustle is still a pretty good, uh, it's a really good defender. If you know how to use his, its, its kit, his kit correctly, um, I think this is a Pokemon that can, that can, act, you can actually pick up and actually learn pretty consistently. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when you first, there was, there was a campaign which you had, if you were to complete the campaign, you would get your Crustle for free. I forgot what the campaign was called. Do you know anything about the campaign, Shoko? Because I don't remember. Yeah, it was like where like you can unlock items and like if you can and if you like play enough games for enough days you can like get you can, like get crusted for free. It was like at the beginning of the game. I don't know if it, I don't know if it still goes on for another for other people, so yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I was wondering, because I remember when, when the game first dropped, and I know Crustle was one of those Pokemon that was available for free with a campaign, but now I think, obviously now you have to get it with, with coins, or get gems, depending on what your currency is, so, but I think Crustle's not a bad defender, it's just outshined by other defenders, honestly, because of, of what those defenders do, like, defenders such as Mammal Swine, you have Blastoise, you have... You know, slow bro. Th those type of th those defenders that uh, unfortunately do put it put Crustle down. Oh yeah, and Snorlax as well too. I forgot about Snorlax, but that doesn't mean Crustle is bad. I think Crustle, in my opinion, is a is not a bad defender whatsoever. He, if, especially if you're able, to, if you're one that's able to utilize its kit perfectly. If you're able to understand, if you if you study up on its kit and understand how it works, I think Crustle can definitely put in some work in, in the right hands, of course. So. Yeah, guys, there you go. That 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 is it for the video on Crustle. So thank you once again, Shuckle, for joining me for this one. I appreciate you because I know I, I know you wanted to join me for Crustle because I know it is your your main. So I had to have you, of course. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just saying thank you for joining me. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Bless you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up for the wrap up this edition of the United Deep Dive series. But once again, thank you, Shuckle, and thank you to everybody who um for watching. If you guys do and did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I appreciate you guys, and let me know in the comments below. Did we did we miss anything regarding to Crustle? Let, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be happy and I'll answer them as consist as quick as I can. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll we'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Check out.